Cool, we're here with Crash and Burn Racing, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to do a quick video on how to enable smart audio capability on the Emax Magnum F3 right here. And as it comes, this board is not able to utilize any of the UARTs to enable that function. So I'm going to have, show you how to enable a soft serial port in order to make that happen. So first off, you need to go into uh, Betaflight and connect your quad up. For my application, I am using the AKK FX3 VTX. It's been a pretty solid little guy for me for the past two months, and uh, it's been good. So anyway. All right, we're finally connected up here, and we're going to go down to CLI. And the first thing you need to do is to type in resource. And then you need to copy these settings right here, and you need to put them into a, like a notepad and save them, because just in case you get something messed up, you can go back into here and know how it was the stock way to set it up. And just like with anything else, when you start changing stuff, there's a bit of a risk to it. So just keep that in mind and back up your board too, just to be safe. All right, so first thing we're gonna change is, we're gonna resource the LED strip to none to free up that source right there. And then we're going to also put the transponder to none also. And then we're going to resource our LED pad for soft serial. And we do it by typing in these. And I'll have these down below too where you can copy and paste them directly into there and then it should uh, save you some problems there and we're going to type in save all right so we're now connected here and first we're going to go back to configuration and we need to scroll down and when we get to where is that soft serial on other features go to soft serial turn that on save it let it do its thing again, or back in. Now you can go to ports, and now you'll see the soft serial option right here. And then you can, of course, set that to either the Tramp or the Smart Audio, whatever one that you're running. In my case, on the AKK, it's a Smart Audio device. So we're going to save that. Another thing I want to mention is where to solder this. If you look at the little pin out here, that's on a emaxmodel.com you can see the LED pad right here and it's right next to the 5 volt pad also so hook up that wire from your VTX to there and you should have your smart audio working one thing to note to watch out for is that the soft serial port actually uses the CPU and if you're on an F3 board that can actually raise up your CPU usage to a point to where it's really not good so go into uh, your beta flight here and look at the bottom where it says CPU load and just make sure it's not running about 90. And if it is, go ahead and go to your PED loop right here and just drop down the loop frequency to 4K and save that and that should fix that problem. That covers all I have for this video. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments down below. I am Corey with Crash and Burn Racing and thank you for watching.